Wow. I am so wow. impressed. <laughs> wow, that's good. I am good. so impressed. Welcome to Meatless Eats. So today we are checking out the Just Egg, well, the frozen Just Egg. These are eggs made from plants, not chickens. And we've actually tried the liquid version of this before. And what did you think of it, wife? It was a fail. Um, <laughs> the liquid version of it, I couldn't get thick eggs. Like I like a nice scrambled egg and it was really thin and really watery. It had really no taste at all. I was not a fan. So I'm hoping that these, since they are thick, are going to be better. Well, here's the thing. These aren't really thick. It's like as thin as those eggs were, but folded in half. Okay. So I, I don't, I didn't, I know I didn't like the texture of the just eggs. Mm -hmm. And like she said, they were really, really thin. It was almost like a little crepe instead of like a nice thick egg. Cause we, when we make scrambled eggs, they become really, really thick and fluffy. Um, however, if I can get away from any plant or from any um, animal type products, whether it's dairy or, you know, eggs and stuff, I totally will. Yeah. However, we have not yet had any, um, Fake like eggs? fake eggs that we've enjoyed. Well, really, we've only tried the just egg. We haven't seen any other fake egg okay. out there. Well, let's, you know what? You want to try it by itself yeah. real quick? So here's yeah. the egg by itself. As you can see, you know, it looks okay. It breaks open. Um, okay. I, I didn't know any better. This would look like a regular microwaved egg to me. So the weird thing with these eggs is that you actually cook them in the toaster. Hey. I wouldn't think that. Hey, now. Is it weird? Is okay. It no, no. That's got a good texture to it. Okay. It smells like an egg. It doesn't taste exactly like an egg. It does have egg texture. It's really, really close. That, I'm very surprised by this texture. Like, I'm not sure if you can see in here, but look, you can see how it breaks apart here. This breaks up like an egg. Put it on a piece of toast here, honey. Here, I'm going to rip this toast up here. Put it on this toast, and let's see how this uh, tastes like this. Don't eat all of it, because we're going to try a little hot sauce on it, too. Wow. I am pleasantly surprised. Okay, and the cooking directions for this is really weird. The way that they recommend you doing this says to place this in a toaster for six minutes on high. And the outside kind of gets a little bit hard, so maybe you can cook it for slightly less. Um, but that's the recommended way. You can also cook it in a skillet, an oven, and a microwave. But the chef's, it says chef's choice is a toaster. So that's what we did. We put this in a toaster for six minutes on high. Honestly, this is pretty good. You want to score yeah. some hot sauce so, on here? So a lot of times when I'm eating eggs, halfway into eating egg, I realize that I'm eating an egg and that it's from a chicken and my mind kind of goes weird and the texture starts to throw me off and I can't eat the rest of my egg. With this, every single bite that I take, it's been pretty good. It almost seems like it has like a mustery kind of like aftertone to it. So even by itself, it's really good. So yeah, I wanted to try it by itself. Then I wanted to put some stuff on it like we normally would, like a little bit of hot sauce. Who doesn't like hot sauce on their eggs? I am so surprised oh, yeah. how good this is. Oh yeah. Oh wow, I'm gonna bash all this. Okay. Um, another thing we have here, a little bit of mustard and cheese, cause like who doesn't eat little egg sandwiches? So I wasn't sure if it was gonna taste good plain, so we went ahead and made up this mustard and cheese one just to make sure. So let's go ahead and try this. It's probably better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If, I swear to God, here, try this. You would not be able to tell that this isn't a real egg. Unless you're like the most hardcore egg person, mm. you wouldn't tell. If you're a vegan and you haven't had eggs in a long time, you've got to give these a shot because you're going to just remember what it was like to eat eggs back in the day when you did. It's kind of like the Impossible Burger. It's the most meaty burger. So if you hadn't had a burger in a long time, like maybe if you eat meat, it doesn't taste like meat. But if you haven't had meat, it's so convincing. And that goes the same for these eggs. It's very, very convincing flavor and texture. We eat eggs almost every day. So it isn't like we've gone a long time without eating eggs and now we're like, oh yeah, this kind of tastes like an egg. Like the texture is a lot like an egg. And I almost like it better than eggs. I feel like on burritos or on little impossible sausage burgers, it's yeah. gonna be so good. I've been making my own uh, McDonald's, uh, what are they? The McMuffins? The egg McMuffins. I've been making my own versions of those at home. And now I can use it without actual eggs and put eggs on it. Still using cheese, we do have to find a good dairy-free cheese alternative, which we will be checking out. We're actually going to do a review of a, like all the different kinds of vegan cheese that we can find. It's going to be pretty awesome. So subscribe to check that out. Yeah, let us know if you've tried these eggs and what you feel. If you have a way of cooking the liquid eggs to make them taste better than wow. uh, our experience, leave it down in the comments and we'll be sure to comment back. Yeah, and uh, subscribe if you guys want to see more plant-based uh, plant food reviews. 
And until then, we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Peace. I'm going to bash this egg. Yeah, it's so good.